I'm talking, of course, about the latest saga featuring young Griff and John Connington, a.k.a. Jacob Wall and Jack Berkman, two of the most like genius level political you know, players on the board. They are playing at a level that is their OPSEC is unparalleled. And you may remember them from our encounter with them at CPAC, where they uh, handed out a confidential memo that was immediately made unconfidential. <laughs> it was released according for to their, public uh, According to their deep internet research of following her on Instagram, they've concluded that Ilan Omar married her brother to gain c- citizenship in America. Yeah. Before that, you may have known their greatest hit, um, bringing a woman to a Washington DTC press conference who then ran away and got on a flight back to L.A. immediately. Uh, to um, accuse Robert Mueller of rape, the uh, former head of the FBI, and then, of course, immediately just they were like, they were like, that's done. We're not yeah, talking and, about and it now anymore. Now Robert Mueller is in prison. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they yeah. got him, but he's also conducting the arrest against uh, um, the deep state. Yeah, against uh, John Legend, <laughs> <laughs> Emerald. She- all the most powerful people who are engaged in the adrenochrome ring. They tried to suborn, basically, I don't know, I guess it's not perjury because it's not in the courtroom, but they yeah. tried to, literally, they were like, would you like to falsely accuse a former FBI director of raping you in a live press conference covered by the national media? Sure. Oh, wait, you don't want to do that? We'll just go ahead anyway. Uh, they're back, folks. They're back, and when you know it, they have a totally new thing that they're doing. No one's tried this before. It's uh, instead of doing that to FBI Director Robert Mueller, uh, they're doing it to presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg. (laughs) I mean, if you described like these two guys and they're like, yeah, so their first thing, their first project together was to accuse a former FBI director and then independent federal prosecutor of rape. (laughs) And then to get a guy who's was an officer in the in the military and a McKinsey consultant and a current like establishment pick for president and be like, he also did a rape after that one fell apart. I'd be like, these guys must get arrested like every day. <laughs> and no, these no. guys, I want to read guys do such a bad job of their, of their hilarious capers. They would get fired from police Academy. <laughs> they would be like, I'm sorry, we have to let you go. You're too bumbling and oafish for it, us. It's like, yeah, it's like a Brewster's millions thing where they're trying to get arrested, but they can't even pull <laughs> yeah, it off. Right. It's <laughs> like they accidentally discover that America is a racist nation because they're like, wait, why the fuck aren't we like being arrested constantly? Uh, Jacob Wall had like a, a distant relative who was like, in order to inherit the wool family fortune <laughs> in the state, you have one month to get arrested of accusing every <laughs> police officer, every high level federal <laughs> official in America of rapes. Do you think they have like Ricky from Trailer Park Boys power <laughs> when it comes to like federal, like the FBI comes to their houses? They're like, they're oh just, yeah, the FBI, the, they're like, uh, we're, the FBI comes to their house to arrest them, and then they have the Ricky energy where they're just like, nah, didn't do it, man. Wasn't yeah, me. Holy Got any f- smokes? Who could be Jacob Wool's Trevor and Corey? <laughs> We should, we should do. Yeah, I would do that. Yeah. I would I absolutely to, uh, take the full here from the, This is the Daily Beast covering it. There's a lot. There's some gems in this article. So it says here, uh, a Republican source told the Daily Beast that lobbyist Jack Berkman and internet troll Jacob Wall approached him last week to try to convince him to falsely accuse Buttigieg of engaging him sexually while he was too drunk to consent. The source who spoke to the Daily Beast said Berkman and Wall made clear that their goal was to kneecap Buttigieg's momentum in the 2020 presidential race. Uh, the source provided the Daily Beast with surreptitious audio recording of the media meeting, which corroborates his account. In it, Wall refers to Buttigieg as a terminal threat to Donald Trump's <laughs> re-election next year. Uh, neither Berkman nor Wall responded to repeated requests for comment on the story. Uh, it says, On Monday, a separate individual using the name Hunter Kelly published a post on the site Medium in which he alleged that Buttigieg sexually assaulted him in February. The post was tweeted out by David Wall, Jacob's father, and quickly rewritten by the site Big League Politics. (laughs) And uh, Love their chew, love their politics. When when that story broke, uh, it was like, Pete Buttigieg is accused of rape. I was like, you know, obviously sirens go off. I'll be like, I'll click through on this. And then the fact that it it was on Medium... And no details of this encounter were shared at all. It just said, I struggled really hard with this, but now it's time to share my story. Please f- follow this site for details to come at a future date. Yeah. It's just sort of like, I was like, mm, well, something, it, you know, I'd like, I'd like to know more. And then yeah. literally within 12 hours, it was like, oh, this is a, a Wall Berkman production? <laughs> Hell yeah. I knew it was. I knew it was because that Medium post was like the Gabo is coming of me. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's no way, dude. By the there's... way, check out my SoundCloud. <laughs> yeah. I just, like, 
Buttigieg. I see. I think that in uh, 2022, uh, LinkedIn becomes self-aware. <laughs> and they create a Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> they, they send, send him back, back in time. At the become president. Yeah. No, he's like, I mean, his policy position, it is like shooting T-1000 almost. Yeah. Further details from this, it says, uh, Kelly said he expressed concerns about the scheme, but Wall told him to sleep on it. When Kelly woke up around 11 a.m., Wall was, quote, was already dressed in a suit because, quote, he can't do a Monday if he isn't in a suit. <laughs> oh, he's like the opposite of Garfield. <laughs> he loves them. Loves those Mondays. Also, Kelly said, "What's the opposite of lasagna?" That is, I mean, he he really like. I feel bad for him to an extent because it is it is like you know he could have been Roger Stone if the internet didn't exist. Yeah, oh, because yeah. he has every stupid thing that Roger Stone like. Down no, Roger Stone got good at that because there was no internet at the right, time, right, so he could just say anything. Right back, yeah, even until like 2002, you could just be like, yeah. Uh, Al Gore actually owns slaves. <laughs> and for like a week, people would be like, "Whoa, for real!" And then they could, you know, you'd have Dr to make Drudge would link to it. Yeah, yeah you, but you, you know, back then you'd have to like write a letter to, you know, uh, the Federal Slave Commissioner, and you'd see that Al Gore didn't own any slaves. But like now, you can instantly check it, and you know, it's sort of like me and Quaaludes. I was born at the wrong time to do them, and Jacob Wool was born at the wrong time to. You know, if Donald Trump was elected in fucking 1980, Jacob Wool would have been like he would have been higher than Stephen Miller. Oh, yeah. He'd be like chief of staff or something. It, it is. Can you imagine if you and him were both in the 80s you doing quaaludes and dirty tricks? It would rule. You're wearing uh, Don Johnson blazers and shit. Oh, my God. I well, I would actually not do quaaludes because I could have I could have been an esports champion back then. What? At playing Tetris? The, the E.T. game. <laughs> I would be the only one who played it. So He's the I'd only the guy who could jump out of the pit. Yeah. <laughs> be the greatest in the world. So I would be the ninja. I would be the ninja of that time. But <laughs> Twitch streams were just recording a Betamax and mailing it to people. <laughs> but, so there's just a couple more really hilarious details here. Uh, uh, Kelly's. This is quoting Hunter Kelly now, the guy who uh, you know supposedly did this medium post. By the said, way, never trust a guy where both of his names are types of green. Types of green. Hunter Green and Kelly Green. Ah. Like we got a color fan over yo, here. I actually, yeah. Someone's been looking at swatches. Yo, I actually, I actually, I was hanging out from Quagmire from fa with Family Guy last week, <laughs> and we actually smoked some Hunter Green. And he's actually a very humble guy in real life. <laughs> he smoked some. We smoked some of that Northern Lights Hunter Green. So he says, uh, "Of Kelly speaking now says Jack Berkman may have promised me a lavish lifestyle, but at a price that would cost me the two most important things to me." Honesty and integrity. How could Jack, Jack, Ber like Jack Berkman? Berkman? <laughs> Jack Berkman. Jack Berkman was born wearing a fraudulent neck brace. <laughs> 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 what fucking what? What? Like he? There was a bathrobe he nicked from like the Trump Hotel in Manhattan. What? What lifestyle? Uh, any Uber that goes. You know, within five miles of this location, it's all yours right now. I would just love. I have a, I have some old movie stubs. If you can get in the theater, you can just keep seeing movies all day, Hunter. <laughs> he, he got <laughs> he, he got he got fired from his uh, law practice by his partner Saul Goodman. <laughs> you fuck, Jack Jack Berkman. I mean, Jack Berkman should honestly. We should. He should be like. He's like sort of like the noble savage from Brave New World. Like, <laughs> we should study him because. Grifter, like grifters now, and like scam artists now, are just boring. They just go on the computer and they're like, "Uh, yeah, you have a mega virus, and the only way you can fix it is by giving me a thousand dollars." Or you call someone up and say, "Yes, hello. Uh, this is the government. We, you owe us money. Please send Amazon gift cards." Yeah, exactly. But Berkman, Berkman's like old school. Berkman, like there aren't a lot of guys like him anymore. But no, he's like a Jack Jack Thompson character. Oh yeah, the Jim Thompson character. Sorry, I just no. I would love like this Hunter Kelly guy. Like as we said, we've seen these two guys, and just being like, "Yo, I will, I will do anything to live that kind of lifestyle." Yeah. <laughs> Not even being led into CPAC, having to do, having to like do a press conference in at an escalator. <laughs> In front, of, in front of an escalator, and a large sweating man who's smiling in, in very intensely. Yeah, Jack, uh, Jack Berkman like in, inducts you into the into the lifestyle of 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 being a a, a canny political operator by showing you how to uh, take dinner rolls out, out of di Golden Corral in your pockets. 
Like the ski is, you gotta wait for the hostess to turn around. He, he does the Alan Partridge large plate <laughs> trick <laughs> yeah. at, at uh, all buffets. <laughs> yeah, Jack, you, what what did Jack Berkman's like offer to Hunter Kelly was like, all right, I have a seven eleven fountain cup. <laughs> <laughs> Any seven eleven you go to, all the soda and if you're you're good, I think I look at you, you remind me of a younger version of me. You probably even get some slushy in there, honestly. <laughs> And, you know, you keep going with this. You say that Camilla Harris also did Me Too stuff to you. You know, we could be talking. You may get, you know, you may, you know, you're a bi-coastal person. You know, you may get my in and out cup. And that's, well, you think about it, like, that's soda everywhere. <laughs> you bring this Hunter, up. Hunter, you like soda. You like a good lifestyle, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, you 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 bring up the, the, the fountain soda scam, but in the story there's also this detail. It says, uh, so it says, yeah, when Kelly woke at around 11 a.m., where he says oh, already dressed, he can't do Monday if he's not in a suit. Uh, the fabricated statement had been posted to Medium along with a fake Twitter and Gmail accounts in Kelly's name. Imagine being this dude and you're just like, guys, I don't really know about that. They're like totally cool, sleep on it. You wake up the next morning, there's a Medium <laughs> post with your name on it saying a presidential candidate raped you. <laughs> God, and you're like, he's like, oh, guys. I mean, I, I don't know about this. He says, according to Kelly, Berkman tried to calm his nerves by claiming that he was a star, and people are eating him up. You're a star, kid. Oh, you're Jesus God. Christ! This is like this is like a politics version of Lou Dirk, Perlman. Yeah, like when Dirk Diggler met fucking Burt Reynolds. I know, but here, oh, here's what goes. No, I no, love no, no. Burt he, goes, kid, he, goes, so says, much. he says, "Kid, you're gonna be a star." And then it says, "The trio," according to Kelly. Ate Subway sandwiches during which Kelly continued to express his regrets. Berkman and Wall tried to calm him down by promising to purchase any house I wanted and insisting that his family would get over it. You're eating at Subway. You're like your fucking carrot to calm this guy down was an Italian BMT. <laughs> you couldn't even take him to his steakhouse. Oh my god. You couldn't even take, take him to You're sitting in a subway under just like Harsh air conditioning. <laughs> Jacob Wool's cuff link fell into your fountain drink. <laughs> it's just an old fountain drink cup from Jack Berkman's car. And he's like, yeah, we're going to buy you a fucking house. <laughs> your goes, family will never have to work again, Hunter. Uh, Berkman goes to him he goes, yeah, you get that sub. You can get all, any fixings you want. They're on me. And he's thinking, that idiot doesn't know that they're all free. <laughs> 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 he says that, and Berkman's like, ah. I knew I was dealing with an equal. <laughs> and then one last hilarious detail from this. Wall, according to Kelly, said the scheme was part of a task force set up by the Donald Trump administration. <laughs> Even Donald Trump would be like, like when Donald Trump, Donald Trump has enough good instinct that when he lies about someone, it's just so weird and vague and doesn't get bogged down in specifics that like it's enough for his surrogates to be like, well, you know, he's technically he could be correct under this circumstance. He would never like go. He would never do this. I mean, a it's just too much work. Oh yeah, but yeah, no, it, like the whole plumber's operation is way too complicated for anybody in that administration to bother with. That would be pretty fucking cool if there was like a Mike Airman trap. Like there is like just an old creep guy, yeah, old plumber who's like they the Trump people are like you have to sort these guys out. <laughs> He's just like G Gordon if, Liddy's still around. Let's if get you're him back. Liddy, if you're Liddy and you're watching this, like, what are you thinking? <laughs> you're just so frustrated. I bet you're just holding your hand over the flame and staring at <laughs> Jack Berkman's <laughs> eyes. Yeah. Be like, fucking sort, sort yourself out, idiot. Jack Berkman is like a guy that the plumbers would kill for practice. Yeah, <laughs> he's not even like involved in this game. And like, I just like this 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 Hunter Kelly guy. I mean this this doe eyed nitwit who just got like <laughs> caught up in this fucking idiotic scheme like at any point with them or like the woman who like literally got on a plane at Dull like and at then Dulles and then fled. immediately went back as soon as she knew she's like oh wait a second I'm gonna be on national TV um lying about a crime that the former head of the FBI did to me no thank yeah. you they went along with it themselves and now this idiot is just sitting at Subway pondering his future I'm like Wool and Burke okay I just got done getting sued over a tweet and these guys are out here literally accusing like I said a former FBI director and presidential candidate of rape and nothing has happened to them no legal consequences and i got to say it kind of owns and i'm here for it. it's amazing <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's just like a, we're doing a crime spree in public and no one's bothering to arrest us <laughs> i mean it, it is like
like that is it, it's that would illegal, be like right? That, it's this it's, is there's got to be it's, 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 this it's has to be illegal. Right. A, at the least lawsuits. Yeah, like they're on tape being like, "Would you do crimes for us?" <laughs> okay, I mean that that should be the criminal justice. Just treat everyone like Berkman and Wool. Like, okay, have you ever seen you've seen the Pusher movies, right? Oh, of oh, course, yeah. I love them. I love those movies. But like in the first one, when he's like trying to get rid of the drugs, like in the first arrest, and like they they get him with like eighty million pounds of coke on him. And they're like, all right, you have to go to jail for three weeks. <laughs> like, that's what it should just be like. Yeah. Like, I don't, yeah. No, this is like, these guys, it's like pain and gain if they didn't use steroids. Yeah. Like, just absolute oafs doing crimes in public and then somehow not getting arrested. Although right. those guys eventually went to jail. We'll see. I think, like, to, yeah, to an extent, like, if we're just treat most crimes like this, we'll have a more whimsical country. Yeah, absolutely. Like, the, clearly, this is a country that needs to laugh. Yeah. Like, all our all our food products are, you know, being like... <laughs> You know, it's okay if when you come to Burger King, you can take your bracelets off to show that you're cutting. Show us that you're cutting yourself. It's okay. Um, if there were more just like goofy hucksters and guys like this, just if there were more oafs, yes, it was more. We okay need public be, oafs. Yeah, we got an oaf deficit right now. If we had like you know a, you know our justice system was incredibly racially biased and just peep all types of people could try things like this. Yeah, and no one gets hurt. But yeah. it's just like, just do whatever. Yeah. Just you have know, fun. Yeah. Get crazy. Yeah, have calliope have, music piped into every public space. There should be a white guy who claims that he's Steve Harvey's son. That should be a story for two weeks. There should be there 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 can be there can be like a Hasid and a black guy like fucking accuse uh, uh, accuse John Brennan of like selling them a car that blew up. <laughs> <laughs> like it would be funny. And if you get, it wouldn't last more than a week because we'd take a now with computers you could just be like yeah no that never happened but for a week we'd be like oh look at these guys. look at these guys you know I think Wall and Berkman should like start speaking in fake British accents so they could really like be heir to the the Duke and the Dauphin from yes, Huckleberry yes, Finn yes, you know yes. and just like go down the Mississippi on a river just like <laughs> um just accusing the the mayor of every town they go in of uh, <laughs> raping them yep. yeah instead of yeah and like Huck Finn they they trick kids into accusing people of rape instead of uh, painting, <laughs> painting the fence. painting the we, fence yeah. during like the the like first stage of the Mueller investigation me and my family had like a running joke about like Trump's genius ploy to get out of it would be to me to Robert Mueller, <laughs> and he just does a shitty job of it. And he's like, tried to touch my Johnson, really, really <laughs> not good. And that's what happened. That's literally what they're doing. Wait a second. Wait a second. That's literally what Moby did to Trump. <laughs> Moby put his dick on Trump's hand. Early, he claimed that in he a did. recent interview. Yes, he said that. He said it was after 9-11 and he was so depressed on, and on drugs, his friends dared him to do it and he just like touched Trump's hand with his penis. What the fuck? What? <laughs> what? Our you president, didn't see that? Our president is an assault survivor. <laughs> what the fuck?